Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, I'm here to show you how to send large attachments through Yahoo email. Um, okay, you want to go ahead and make your way to yahoo.com uh, and open up your mail. Once you've uh, done that, you want to make sure that your Yahoo mail is currently upgraded to the latest version of Yahoo mail. The uh, this will not work with the classic version of Yahoo Mail. And uh, basically, by default, you can only send up to 25 megabytes through Yahoo Email. But there's an application through Yahoo Email which allows you to send up to 100, 100 megabytes. And if you pay for the premium service, you can send up to 2 gigabytes through email, which is... Uh, in my opinion a great service anyway uh, once you've uh, finished updating your Yahoo email to the latest version you should see the applications tab on the left hand side uh, it might be closed, it might be open, if it's closed go ahead and collapse the bracket and you should see attach large files so go ahead and click on attach large files and when you do that a diagram is going to come up like so and it's basically going to give you the rundown of the program it allows you to select up to 100 megabytes uh, files upload compose the email which is basically sending it to the person and once the person receives it they have 30 days to download the file after that the file expires and okay once you've done reading the diagram go ahead and click on select files and basically what this is going to do is going to open a box prompting you you know to select a file that you want to send so once you've uh, got yourself situated with the file you want to send if you're using the free version you can only remember again you can only send up to 100 megabytes go ahead and click on that uh, 100 megabyte file and make sure it's in file name box and click on open in this case, I'm just going to send an image to show you how it works. Uh, 100 megabyte, send a 100 megabyte video would take too long. Okay, go ahead and click on open, and once you've done that, the file should appear under select files. And again, basically, what I explain is the pre one of the premium option is sending up to uh, two gig worth of files. You can also control your file expiration, meaning you can extend the 30 day expiration up to unlimited. You can also uh, password protect the file and you can also ask for a seat back. Okay, once you've uh, done reading that, go ahead and click on upload and compose email. And this is going to upload the file depending on the file size, depending on your. Uh, upload speed of your computer it might take a long time to do that it might take a short amount of time to do that anyway once you've done that you should be prompted to the compose uh, message page and you want to type in the person's email you're gonna send it to of course and in this case I'm gonna send it to myself to show you guys how it works so there uh, okay go ahead and uh, punch in the person's email. Clearly, you want to put in a subject to let them know who's it from. And go ahead and click on send. And basically, you've just sent the email. Give it a few uh, minutes, give it a few seconds, or whatever, and then the person should receive the uh, email. I just sent the, uh, the file to myself, and there it is. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And the person who you've sent the, who you've sent the file to, when they open up the email, this is how it's going to look. It's going to say delivered uh, delivery provided by you sent it, which is a sponsor of uh, Yahoo email, and they're going to see the file or files, and it's going to say they expire in 30 days or whatever limit you set it to, and. Uh, basically what they're going to do is go ahead and click on uh, get file and it's going to redirect you to a new page and the new page is basically going to be the uh, the uh, database where you'll be downloading the file from and they're going to click on download it's going to say processing and depending on what browser you're using um, like I'm using uh, the latest version of Internet Explorer 
you're going to see the file download prompt at the bottom, or if you use a Mozilla, you might see it, you know, wherever you set your uh, download box to. And I'm just going to set it, uh, I'm going to save it to my desktop. They might save it somewhere else. Click on save. Just going to replace it. And it's going to say download completed. I'm going to go ahead and check it out. Make sure that the file is not corrupt. Make sure that what I sent is what I sent. And basically, I just sent a picture of this. And as you can see, it's a simple uh, process of doing that. No viruses involved or anything. Again, it is a sponsor of Yahoo Mail. Yahoo Mail sponsors Zims, and they sponsor Yahoo Mail. And it's a great service. And yeah, thank you for watching.